What's on the treatment horizon for Parkinson's? Is a cure in our lifetime? Well, I'd love to say yes, and I am optimistic. I, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of progress. Uh, whether we'll see a cure, you know, I don't want to be on record for saying for sure, but mm -hmm. I do think that the progress we're making in not just treating it and looking at the treatment from different perspectives, but in looking and in expanding our understanding. And part of this has been basic science, part of it has been clinical trials, part of it has been just the public's, you know, insistent positive interest and advo you know, advocacy that has moved Parkinson's forward by leaps and bounds, especially compared to certain other, you know, very difficult neuro neurological conditions. So, you know, I've seen in my career already a number of real leaps and bounds. I mean, we have a long way to go, for sure. And we have some, some big unmet needs, but we're addressing them. And I think that's the beginning of, you know, identifying and moving into clinical trials, looking for neuroprotective agents, looking for safer, multimodal mm -hmm. ways of, of treating this very complex, very, you know, heterogeneous disorder. Yeah, no, and uh, I think that our understanding of the non-motor symptoms uh, has really grown, and it's given us an opportunity now to uh, maybe intervene, potentially, yeah. uh, even before a patient has developed uh, any of the, the movement problems yeah. uh, related to Parkinson's. Um, what are your thoughts on stem cells? Well, I think that it's one of many approaches. I don't think there's going to be one thing necessarily mm -hmm. that is the, the cure-all. I mean, people are excited about stem cells. Uh, we've had some experience mm -hmm. uh, in, in the Parkinson's treating community, which has had some promise, but also some cautionary notes. And I think it's going to move forward. Uh, I think with the genetics, even if not all cases are genetic mm -hmm. in, in their underpinning, I think we're going to learn a lot from those cases, what's going on at cellular level, and address treatments that are very sophisticated, maybe even very specific to different Parkinson's subpopulations, and, and see this sort of custom-tailored treatment that's going to make a difference. Are there any vaccines in development? There are. There are a number of things that are looking at some of the these sort of protein aggregates that we know that are pathological, that are there in the brain, and targeting those and how to go about doing that is, I think, another frontier. And so we're, we're very much looking forward to seeing how that, that plays out. But it's a nice because it's a new paradigm of how we treat these things. It's not just another mm -hmm. sort of also ran uh, therapy. So between stem cells and, and vaccines and new surgical techniques and, and new rescue and, and longer acting medications, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that the next decade is going to see some real revolutionary headway. Yeah, I share that optimism um, with you. I think that uh, we're going to be able to treat patients sooner and uh, more effectively. Um, and we're going to really tailor, start to tailor treatment for the individual and, and hopefully prevent them from developing some of those uh, motor complications um, um, down the line.